Hey everybody, John Wade Boggs fan here. Um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today, more of like a, a commentary. I will be showing some uh, cards off, but what I would like to do is talk about on-card autographs versus sticker autographs. Um, wondering if uh, any of the people watching this uh, video have any comments or thoughts, uh, but I thought I'd share some of my thoughts in particular relating to my Wade Boggs collection and uh, Wade Boggs autographs. Um, I uh, prefer on-card autographs, and again, I'll, I'll show some examples and, and explain in more detail why. I understand why sticker autographs uh, are out there. Um, from a card company's standpoint, it's probably cheaper to send several sheets of stickers and have the player sign multiple ones and use the stickers in multiple products rather than mail the cards out especially these days players are signing hundreds of autographs for every product that are that gets released so from a cost standpoint uh, uh, shipping quality control uh, it's probably much easier to do sticker autographs it also probably helps with um, having less redemption cards. Um, if a player signs a bunch of sticker autographs, chances are the card companies wouldn't have to um, have a redemption. But if it's on card autograph and the player is slow to return the cards, may lead to redemptions. Um, I think there's a general consensus that people hate redemption cards, but maybe a necessary evil in the hobby. Um, and also, it, it, the, the, the sticker autographs lend to multiplayer card autographs. Uh, again, it's much easier to stick two, four, six sticker autographs on a card than send that card out to get the first player's autograph, then get them back, then send them on to the next player, and so on and so forth. Again, you could get the sixth player goof up their signature and they may have to do it over again or, or have the player sign more uh, than what they expect to uh, include in the set to factor in all these errors. But um, for me, the on-card autograph, uh, again, especially related to Wade Boggs, in my opinion, is a lot more preferable. Um, so I'm going to go turn the camera around and have a little bit more discussion, show some examples and then end with another uh, final thought that I have regarding player autographs. So here we go. All right, let me uh, first go over some uh, examples of Wade Boggs' signature. And if, if you've seen uh, some of my cards in my videos that have uh, autographs, um, Wade's autograph um, not only is, is fairly clean to, to, to read, when he signs, um, he has a bit of a flair to his autograph. And here's just uh, one, <clears throat> one example here. You can see how he, he has a nice big W and a really tall D, and then he goes into the B, and you know the Gs look like uh, you know, Ss or 8s. Um, th these are the best. This is one of the best examples of Wade's autograph. Um, and as you can tell, this is on card. The, these are my favorite type of autograph cards of Wade. And here's one more example. Um, as you can see, the really tall D and the B, um, he, just, he really likes to spread his autograph out. So when it comes to sticker autographs, they're obviously of a certain size. Um, but even in constrained spaces, here's another on card that doesn't have a lot of room but he's still able to sign like he would normally want to sign. And, and these are the cards that I, I, I value more. Um, obviously, it doesn't totally matter to me because I'm out to try to get as many different cards as I can. But um, here's two sticker autograph examples. As you can see, the, the, the W and the D, he, she's trying to force everything into about maybe an inch of space. And the B and, and G, and it just, I don't know, here's, an, here's one more example. 
So it just, it's a lot different than even a, the amount of width is about the same, but because he needs to fit it all in that sticker, um, the quality of this autograph or the, 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 um, I don't know, the, 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 the look of this autograph, uh, it's his autograph, uh, and I can tell it is, but it's just not as, as clean and crisp as an on-card autograph. Now, looking at some other players, though, uh, their signatures um, bode fairly well in sticker autographs. I have two examples here where um, they're able to get their autograph on a sticker, and it looks... Great. Here's a Ricky Henderson. Um, I, I don't have an on-card Ricky Henderson autograph to compare it to, um, but to me that doesn't seem um, like squished or that he isn't able to um, sign the sticker maybe any differently than maybe an on-card other than slightly just bigger, but uh, it appears that the quality of his autograph is, is still intact on a sticker. And Here's one more example, Ken Griffey Jr. Again, a sticker autograph. Um, now you can see maybe some of the, the K, uh, not quite the G there. Uh, he did manage to get it all on there, but um, again, still a really nice, clean autograph. There's nothing wrong with this one. Um, so again, stickers in itself, I don't necessarily have a problem with it's it's with my Wade Boggs cards. I, I do not like sticker autographs of Wade Boggs just because of the it limits his his signature. So again, there's a there's a look my my thoughts on uh, on card autographs versus sticker autographs. But before I go, um, one more thing regarding autographs. Uh, and quality of autographs. I, I've seen comments on, on Facebook, Twitter, and so on before. Um, and I'd like to lead with two quotes of the great golfer, Arnold Palmer. And his first quote is, always sign an autograph so the fans can read it. We owe them that much. And the second quote from Arnie is, what's the point of signing something if the person can't read it or later can't even remember who it was. And I know you've, you've seen autographs out there that it is maybe chicken scratch at the best. It maybe looks like two letters and that's their entire name. I understand that players today, especially younger players, the superstars, they're being asked to sign thousands of autographs, whether it be on card or sticker. I get it, I, I understand. And it takes ages, if you don't have a very quick signature, to sign everything. I, I, I do get it. Um, but I have a couple here that, that, and again, this doesn't extend to just current players. I have an example here, and uh, my friend Rich may, may uh, blast me for pointing this out, but um, here's a, a Bowman Chrome card of Victor Sanchez. I, I, I can't even, if it didn't have his name there, I, I wouldn't even come close to knowing what that is. I just, the examples I gave, Wade Boggs, for the most part, you can tell W-A-D doesn't always do the E, the B-O-G-G, -G, you can make it out. The Ricky Henderson, um, the Ken Griffey Jr., you can sort of make out what their name is. This one here, I, I would have no clue. Here's a... Uh, Jose Altuve, um, maybe that's a J. Out, I, I don't know. To me, it's just some waves, and it's a signature. I, I don't know if some of these younger players they weren't, you know, taught cursive in school. I, I don't know. But to me, it just seems in in some cases, just my personal opinion. Maybe I'm an old fuddy duddy, but uh, um, just that they don't care as much. Here's um, Arismendi Alcantara. Now, I, how is that his autograph? I just, I don't know. 
Um, these are just a couple examples I have. There are some even worse ones out there. You can probably Google it or find it on like Twitter or Facebook, like I said. And, and here's the last one that, that it, again, it doesn't, it's not just the newer players. And there's another soon to be Hall of Famer that maybe falls into this category, but um, I'm sorry, Rich. I, I know you love the Cubs and, and Ryan Sandberg, but uh, how how is that Ryan Sandberg? I, I don't know. To me, if this was on an index card, and I didn't know, I thought just someone would be was doodling. Again, to each their own. There are there are many people out there that just that's that's their autograph, um, and that's fine. I don't mean to be you know picking on Ryan or, or, or others, but uh, I'm I'm just old school. Um, that if you sign something, uh, you should be able to tell um, years from now. You should be able to pick up the, the the ball or card, index card, whatever it may be, signed autograph or picture or something like that, and know. Oh, that's so and so's autograph. You know, Hank Aaron's autograph, Pete Rose's autograph. Um, while I don't have one, Harmon Killebrew uh, has a had a gorgeous autograph. Mickey Mantle. They 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 signed a ton, but they took their time. You can make out their autographs. Um, there's some really nice examples of autographs out there. Uh, some of them just to me don't don't make the grade. But anyway, um, so that's my little commentary video here of uh, the difference between the on-card autograph and a sticker autograph. So let me know what your thoughts are. There's no right or wrong answer. You may love stickers, sticker autographs, and you know, tell me why. Uh, you may prefer on-card autographs. Tell me why. Um, let me know if you don't have a problem with the way Mike Trout's autograph looks. That's that's fine. Again, uh, this is my first attempt at a uh, sort of a commentary video. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, would would appreciate it. So um, again, um, just uh, some of my thoughts here regarding autograph cards that are out there in the marketplace. So thanks for all the uh, uh, people that are viewing my videos, comment, commenting on my videos, liking my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, love the comments, love reading the comments and responding to them. So thanks again, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.